For many of us that know Susan Dinkle, it has never been a matter of if she would make it into the Silver Circle, but more when she would become eligible to be inducted, or as I like to tell her, old enough. When Susie walked through the doors at WTHI-TV as a young, energetic intern, she was full of life, always smiling, and eager to put in the work to become the best in the business. Today, when Susie walks through the door, it's much the same still full of life, always smiling, and still eager to be the best in the business. But now as a news director, she is also a coach, a cheerleader, mentor, and a friend to young journalists who walk in the door for the first time, just as she did many years ago. Susie's work ethic and standard does, doesn't apply to just the rookies. She pushes, encourages, and motivates veterans just the same. Her persistence and competitive spirit brought home WTHI-TV's first ever Ohio Valley Emmy in 2007, and many more followed. Simply put, she makes those around her better, better journalists, better people, and better friends. And that's why I'm proud to announce my friend, Susan Dinkle, as a 2021 Silver Circle recipient. I think we all wanna win. I think we all wanna be successful. My advice is this, do things that scare you. Fear is going to make you work harder. When someone says you can't do something, prove them wrong. Be a good listener, that's the key to effective communication. Bring the energy, everyone gets inspired. It's contagious to have that energy. Color and color outside the lines and do it intentionally. There's no playbook in this business. Write your own story, go off the beaten path. Learn from what happened and don't ever underestimate the power of failure. Missteps are gonna happen, that's reality. The key is learning from those mistakes. One thing that I've learned is perfection doesn't exist, but excellence does. And I strive for excellence in everything I do. My performance, my execution, and number one, my attitude. I walk into my station with that feeling that I wanna make a difference and give it my all. And I wanna make a difference with the content we're churning out and make a difference with the employees that I work with. And my goal and my hope is when I leave at night, that I have that euphoric feeling, that feeling of accomplishment and achievement, that I've made a difference. It means a lot for me to invest in others because so many people invested in me throughout my career and they're still investing in me. I like watching people grow and develop. It's a lot of fun. I wouldn't change my professional journey at all. It's mine and it's filled with ups, downs, and all the in-betweens. First and foremost, I want to thank the Ohio Valley Chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. What an honor to be included in the prestigious Silver Circle. I have such admiration for the standouts that make up this distinguished group. They are all influential broadcasting pioneers. Talk about a stamp of approval. There is no higher honor. Thank you so much to the members of the Silver and Gold Circle Committee. After graduating from DePaul University, WTHI-TV took a chance on me. I started out as an intern and climbed the ladder to present day where I live two lives in our news operation. One, the news director, and two, the 5 p.m. anchor. Two professional lives that don't always see eye to eye, but I thrive on the challenge of making it work. I've dedicated my entire career to WTHI-TV Terre Haute is my hometown, I love my community, and I love my station. WTHI-TV is so much more than just call letters. It's filled with life, and the newsroom I manage is the heart of the station's operation. I wouldn't be standing here without all of my amazing colleagues. I can't express enough just how grateful I am for their love, support, guidance, and encouragement. Every single person that I have ever worked with has impacted me especially the late David Bailey, my first boss, a man who saw something in me I didn't see in myself. My general manager, Todd Weber, for allowing me to rewrite the plague book for what is possible. To my corporate family for always pushing me to climb higher, to strive to always be better than the day before. 
to Mike Latta, my mentor from day number one. He inspires me daily and constantly challenges me to move mountains. I love you, buddy. I wanna be clear, all of my coworkers over my 25 plus year run have played significant roles in my professional journey. I've learned so much from them and it is not over. I'm still learning, growing, developing. I'm not throwing in the towel yet. In fact, I'm just getting started. I still have a lot more ground to cover before I close out my broadcasting career. In my mind, I'm still 18, asking myself, what do I want to be when I grow up? When I step back and look at my career, I see a person who jumped in with both feet, absorbed every opportunity placed in front of her, and never looked back. I've learned so much, including the fact that anything is possible. This is so true. The more you invest, the more you'll get back. I wouldn't be standing here right now without my faith, my family, my friends, the viewers that welcome me in their homes each and every evening, and my genuine love for broadcasting. My biggest shout out goes to my husband, Jim, and my daughters, Lily and Claire. They know more than anyone that my career is 24 seven. It never stops. They know the long hours I put in because more times than not, I'm not home. It's a crazy lifestyle, organized chaos, but it's part of who I am. Thank you, Jim, Lily, and Claire for being my rocks, my foundation, my biggest supporters, encouragers, and my cheerleaders. My professional story follows no map. I off-road for a reason. I don't do normal. I write my own story and I run by my own beat. I go against the grain. Success, in my opinion, isn't evaluated by completing a formula where you start here and end there. Success is trekking through new frontier, thinking outside the box and proving anything is possible.